Now, your Storm Track 9 weather. A great night to get outside and enjoy the fall weather. The other flip side of that is it could be worse. Yeah. You know, this time of year we've had Friday evenings where the weather has been lousy. This year we've been rather fortunate and certainly this evening will be the case as well. Current temperature readings in the area generally in the low to mid 50s as of 6 p.m. We're at 53 in Wausau, 55 presently in Wisconsin Rapids. To the north, 51 at Eagle River and Rhinelander, 49, one of the cooler readings right now in Antigo. Forecast this evening is looking A-OK. -okay. Just a few clouds overhead for our football games or any other outdoor activities. Wind still a little bit breezy from the southeast, but OK temperature-wise at 7 p.m. upper 40s to low 50s. So you know the drill by now. Have just a good jacket, hats, gloves, and mittens, and I think you'll be fine, especially because there will be a little chill from the wind coming through. Otherwise, tonight will stay fairly mild too with an increase in clouds. Overnight it will become mostly cloudy. South winds will persist at 8 to 18 miles per hour. That will keep the temperature readings reasonably mild for this time of year. Forecast lows in the area at 40 to 45 degrees. Storm Track 9 radar and satellite view doesn't show too much going on. Uh, with uh, weather conditions over Wisconsin at this time, but to the west there's a more focused area of cloud cover and a broken line of showers moving through the northern plains in the Missouri Valley. And that's the weak weather system that will visit us tomorrow, bring us scattered showers, maybe a tenth or two of an inch of rain, so it won't be a complete washout or a heavy soaker, but some showers on the way at least for the first part of the weekend. And Tropical Storm Nestor is now about to make uh, landfall into the southeastern U.S. Maximum sustained winds about 60 miles per hour moving to the northeast rather robustly at 22 miles per hour. It'll bring rain and thunderstorms, maybe some severe weather threat before making a, 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 losing its uh, influence over the land sometime later this weekend, but it will come, run across the southeastern U.S. Lows today with the quiet weather conditions this morning. Readings in the mid-20s to low 30s for our area. 30 degrees was the low in Wausau, but upper 20s to the north and some low 30s to the south. High today in Wausau was 57. We're looking a little cooler tomorrow because of the clouds and scattered showers, but not too bad though at 53. A beautiful 60 degrees on Sunday, 57 with rain on Monday, and then much cooler next week with scattered showers at times maybe mixing with some snow. Our future track shows generally fair conditions, but with increasing clouds tonight. During the day tomorrow, we'll have scattered showers moving through. By 6 p.m., much of that activity will be to the east of the News 9 coverage area, through parts of Shawano, Wapaka, Washera counties, and continues to move to the east tomorrow evening and overnight. Sunday starts out with lovely sunshine. There will be an increase in clouds later on, as here comes the next weather system that will bring us plenty of wind showers and a few thunderstorms Sunday night and Monday. Saturday at 9 a.m. cloudy skies, few showers working into the area from the west. 43 to 48 degrees south wind will be light at 5 to 10 and stay light through the afternoon. Scattered showers, highs in the low 50s north of Wausau Saturday. A little bit warmer, low to mid 50s to the south. Southwest winds not that strong at 5 to 10. Rest of the seven day forecast and a great one on Sunday. Breezy with showers Monday, windy and cooler with scattered showers Tuesday, then cool and unsettled the rest of the week.